search is on for a missing Randolph teenager who left home Monday night after an argument. Crews have spent the last 24 hours searching for him. Most of that search is focused on the area of the Randolph Reservoir. Police have found the teenager's cell phone, a shirt, and shorts just feet from the shore. WBZ's Nicole Jacobs is following this story. She's live in Randolph. Nicole. Chris, they're going into day two of this search, and the chief says at this point still no one has heard or seen this missing teen. It's a gray and gloomy day in Randolph, and still no sign of Christopher DeFreitas. The 16-year-old has been missing since 8 p.m. Monday, his mother telling police there was a disagreement at home. She went to look for uh, Christopher up in his bedroom, found that he... Uh, Walked out the back of the house. Hours later, his clothing and cell phone were discovered at the Randolph Reservoir. Where the items were found, the clothing and the cell phone, and that they were in the showers and the water, where, where those items were found, they weren't thrown. They were, he had to walk into the water, or someone had to walk in the water to place those items. There. The environmental police have taken to the waters, equipped with a sonar unit, and state police are also involved, launching its dive team all in search for the Randolph High School student. Today, detectives continue to interview friends and family, according to the police chief, hoping for any clues leading to the young man's whereabouts, but so far, nothing. The chief says at this point they will end today's search at 4 p.m. and then they will reassess based on the outcome of today's search as to how they will move forward tomorrow. We're live in Randolph this afternoon. Nicole Jacobs, WBZ News.